Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with the errors. So if you go to the login or to the register, we have error error like this. But I'm going to show the error if we have if we get the error from the API, from the response. And also I told you in the previous video to make sure we have the CSRF token. We need to go to the application and see if inside the cookies we have this uh, CSRF token. But now I'm going to make a API first to get that CSRF token and then uh, make an API to log in or register. So we don't need to go and check for that. So let's open the VS code and to work. Inside the components, let's start with a login. And first I'm going to work with uh, errors. So I'm going to create a constant and say errors and also set errors is going to be equal with a use state and initially is going to be an empty array. Okay, and then here when we uh, check for the error instead of console log, I'm going to say I'm going to check if because right now, so let's uh, go back and say console log save. Let's go to the login, inspect element, go to the network, and now if I send the login, yeah, we have a status choo choo for choo choo, and the response is a message the email field is required. Also, we have errors, which has the email and say the email is required, and also the password, the password field is required. So I'm going to check for these errors, if we have any errors, and then display the specific error for the email up here and for the password down here. So let's go in the VS Code and check if the error dot response dot status. So we are going to check for the status. And if that is triple triple for choo choo, I'm going to say set errors. So this errors here, which is an empty array right now. And I'm going to set that to the error dot response dot data dot errors like this. So we uh, inspect element again just to show you in the network and if I say login in the status here here we have the errors so I'm going to say error response data errors like this okay and now uh, down there when we have the input after the input we have this flex and display the error with text thread 400 and I'm going to show that uh, conditionally if we have the error for the email display that otherwise I'm not going to show and in the react we can do like this so I'm going to say errors dot email if we have and say and and I'm going to display this div, otherwise it's not going to show that. So if we have errors for the email, it's going to display this one. And here as a, a error, I'm going to display the errors dot email and the first error in the array. Okay, so first check if, if we have that and display the first one. And let's do the same thing for the password. So up here I'm going to say errors.password and if we have that, say add, add and close that and also 
in here we need to display the errors dot password and the first one in the array like this hit save and let's see in the browser as you can see we have the email field is required and the password field is required so let's refresh nothing if i click the email field is required and the password field is required now if i say test example dot com and the password and say login we redirect it to the home everything okay let's go and log out by going to application and clear the cookie here now as i said so if i uh, try and log in let's say test example dot com and add the password right now we have error as you can see here let's go to the console and we have our error for 19 which is the uh, csrf token mismatch and let's work with that also in the vs code up here and here i'm going to create a constant and i'm going to say uh, csrf which is going to be able with an anonymous function and say axios dot get and specify the url which is slash sanctum slash uh, csrf token cookie csrf dash cookie like this and now here first i'm going to get the csrf cookie and then try and catch so let's call that so i'm going to say await because we have an async function here await csrf like this and now if i save like this and refresh let's inspect the element and just we have the csrf token here i'm going to clear this and if i type text example dot com and add the password so we don't have here the csrf cookie but if i click let's go to the network and let's say login we redirect it back and you can see here first we make a request of the csrf cookie and we have 204 so we get the cookie first then we make a login request and we have a success login the same thing with the register so let's copy this one and let's go inside the register.jsx and create that and call here the csrf await csrf method and then try and catch also we are going to do the same for the error so let's create a constant for the errors and let's just uh, copy this one in here and now go to the form we have this for the name paste that in this is going to be for the name so let's select and say name okay this is for the email so just paste that here and this is for the password and select the email and say password and the last one is for the password confirmation we don't have error so just let's save as it is right now and let's close and let's close this navigate in the browser let's go to the register and we have the error here for the last one just remove it 
Okay, now let's uh, say test, test one, and I'm going to say like this, add a password, and let's say le register, and we don't see any error, and why is that? The server responds with a status for O4. Let's try again. Ah, yeah, we are logged in, so we need to log out. Let's. Sorry for that. Let's go to the network. And if I say register, now we have 422. And why we don't show the error? So the error, the password must be at least 8 characters. And I think we have added the error for the errors for the password. Ah, yeah, we need to. Sorry, friends. We just need to add here also the same we have in the login. We check if the response status is uh, 422 and set errors instead of just console log okay and now if i refresh clear this and let's say register yeah we have all the errors and let's add test and let's say test here and add the password one to four one to four so we don't have a valid email and we don't have a valid password and let's say register yeah this is not the email and let's open the VS code go to the register and here input we have a type email here as you can see so we need to add an email and let's say test dot com but the password is not valid password and let's add register yeah, the password must be at least eight characters and let's add the valid password. And let's say register. Yeah, we are redirected to the home page. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. How to show the errors, get the CSRF token in the login and in the register page. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best friends.